Okay, so I have my NFC tag over here and if I bring it close to the phone, nothing happens, but let's go ahead and type something such as nice and I'll bring the NFC close and I'll type in activate tag. As you can see, it says text written successfully. Now, if I go ahead and bring it again, you can see that the NFC content updates to plain text and then nice tag. Welcome back guys. Now, as you can see, I've already have a project set up here. And if you're looking into NFC capabilities in Android, I will assume that you have some form of experience. And that's why I didn't start the project from the start, just so that I can save some bit of time. As you can see, my main activity is completely empty. Now my XML file is not empty. As you can see, I have a linear view here. And the only thing I have is just a button here, a text field over here, and then a text, uh, sorry, a text edit over here, and then a text view over there and just a title now for our text view which is over here we are simply going to be using this to display the information already written on the tag and our text edit we are, our edit text we obviously use it to get some input from the user and when the user clicks on activate tag we're just going to activate our nfc tag with um with whatever the user has inserted now before we, be we begin we actually need to add some sort of like paperwork and to do that, we simply need, make sure you're under Android, go to app and then manifests, Android manifests, let's double click on it. And we're going to be adding some things over here, which will allow us to work with NFC capabilities. Now, the first thing is going to be the following. So let me just go ahead and start and maybe I can make this a little bit bigger like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this just so that we save some time. And it will be users permission android name android.permission.nfc this line you have to actually enter in order to work with nfc's next let's go inside of our intent filter and we're going to be adding some things which again will allow us to use nfc capability so what we're going to be adding is the following as you can see we added these lines of code we have android intent action dot main and sorry we already had this one so i accidentally copied it now we this is the only three ones that you're going to add android.nfc.action end of discovered so now we can actually discover the nfc android.intent.category.default and text plain so here we're letting the app know that we're pretty much going to be using nfc capabilities to activate or write plain text on the tags now that we have this done there's one last thing that we need to do and that is simply add an xml file under our resources to do that, we first need to add a directory of XML. So let's go ahead and right click on our resource folder, new, click on directory and simply call it XML. Click and enter and now we have it over here. Now let's create an XML file. So we're going to right click on this again, click on new, click on XML resource file. And over here, we're going to call it NFC underscore tech filter dot XM, Oops, sorry and then we can just click OK. Now let's go ahead and click encode. Now I've already had this uh, set up again so that I don't waste your time. This is nothing complicated. So I'll paste it here and I will show you exactly what it is. So let me zoom in. This is pretty much all I added. Now that we have both those things done, we can finally close this and close the manifest and start working on our main activity and that's pretty much going to be it so let's just take note of our ids so for our text edit we have it called edit message our button is called activate button and the content of the tag so whatever's written on the tag is simply called nfc contents let's go back to our main activity and start working with nfc capabilities so before we begin there is actually a couple of things that we need to add we need to add or specify the messages that will show up based on whether or not we actually manage to connect successfully to the tag. So let's go ahead and say public, static, final, string, error, detected. So this is in case we do find an error. And our message is going to be no NFC tag detected. Next is going to be a success one. So again, again public, static, final, string, and this one will be write success. And this one will be text written successfully finally we have the last one and it'll be public static final string 
write error. So this is in case we did actually type the type correctly, but we just couldn't write error, and we're just going to say error during writing. Try again. Obviously, you can customize completely those messages, but this is just what I'm writing for this example. Next, we need to add a couple of things. So we're going to be needing an NFC adapter, and we're going to call it NFC adapter. We are then going to be needing a pending intent, and it will be called pending intent. Let's go ahead and add an intent filter as well. And we're going to call it writing tag filters, followed by a boolean, and we're going to call it write mode. So this switches uh, whether or not we are in write mode or read mode. We're going to obviously need a might add tag. And let me just write it. And if it ever goes red, just type in the first couple of letters, make it autocomplete, and then double tap on it, and it should load fine. Finally, we need to obviously have a context. And let's go ahead and simply call it context. And again, see the exact same problem again. So I'll type C-O-N-T and I'll double tap on it just like this. And now it's no longer showing an error. Now that we've initialized this stuff, let's go ahead and actually initialize our buttons and views and so on. I'm going to go ahead and start with my text um, edit or edit text. So let's go ahead and take note of the ID. And that's exactly what I will do. So I'll actually say that it's a text view. And let's go ahead and call it edit message. Just like that now let's go over here and we are going to say edit message is equal to find view by id r dot i and then i'll say edit message now this might cause an error because it's not a text view it's a text edit so let's go ahead and say text view over here just like this wonderful now we have our actual text view and that is where we're going to be showing the message or whatever is written on the text so let's say text sorry text view and we are going to call it whatever it is so it is nfc content let's go ahead and do the exact same thing so i'm just going to copy this and then i'll copy this and pass it over here there we go Wonderful. Now the last thing we have is the button. So let's go ahead and create that. I will simply, oops, I will simply say button, and I will say activate button, just like this. Let's go ahead and copy that. And I just want to make sure that I'm writing this right. So let's go ahead activate button. And obviously this cannot be a text view. So let's go ahead and remove this. Thing these and there we go now one last thing we need to do is we need to obviously since we have a context and we're just going to say that it's this wonderful okay so now that we have this created now let's go ahead and create an on-click listener for our button so that when we click on the button we can actually do something so let's go ahead and say activate button dot set on click listener new view on click listener wonderful just like this and now what we need to do is we're going to be adding some stuff here. Some of it will show an error because we still didn't just create the functions. But bear with me and it will work straight away. So let's go ahead and add this, the following code snippet just to make sure that everything works exactly as we're expecting. And I'll zoom in and explain everything correctly. As you can see, we are getting a lot of errors. Let me zoom in. So pretty much what we're doing is we're checking if we actually connected to any of the tags. If we did not connect to any of the tags, so if my tag is equal to null, then what we're going to do is we're going to create a toast and we're going to say error detected. So this is the message that we created over here. So let's go ahead and copy it and come over here and paste it. So this will be printed. It will pretty much say no NFC tag detected. If we did manage to successfully connect to it and we managed to write to it successfully, what we're going to do is we're going to present the right success message. Now, obviously, right here is red, and that's because we actually did not create this right, uh, yet. We're still creating it. And here, what we can do, instead of just having message, let's actually correct it to the wrong, uh, to the correct text field, which is our text view just over here. There we go. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a right function but first before we do that there are some things that we need to add first and make sure we remove that one and there we go we have the errors fixed so what we need to do now is we need to create um, an intent so pretty much we're going to now detect the tag even before the person clicks on the button so we want to detect the tag 
and then be able to read from it. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to say NFC adapter is equal to NFC adapter dot get default adapter. And we're going to say this. After that, we're going to check. So we're going to say if NFC adapter is equal to null, then what we need to do is we need to create a toast dot make text. And over here, we're going to say this. And we're simply just going to say this device does not support NFC. For the toast dot lens and let's just keep this one short and obviously we have to show it there we go after that what we can do is we can just finish our session there's no uh, need to continue looking for tags if this device doesn't have nfc tag now it's time to actually start reading if if so if this is if our adapter is not now it's time for us to actually start reading and detecting the information so let's go ahead and say read intent and again we are now calling a function that we still did not create and i'll just say get intent just like this after that what we are going to be doing is we're just going to be copying and pasting that code snippet that i'm about to post and please make sure you do have a look and see how it is now the reason i am copying and pasting is because this gets really complicated sometimes and if you just do write anything wrong such as a zero to one or something like that your hook code is not going to work so make sure you just copy it exactly and i will post this entire file into github for you to check it out again we still did not create any of these functions so do not stress if they're not showing obviously for the right error we should be swapping it with the right the correct key for it. there we go now let's go ahead and start creating those functions so we can finally work it the first function that we're going to be creating is going to be the read from intent. So it's going to be that one. So let's simply copy it and present it over here. And let's make sure that we give it the same name. There we go. And next is the build tag views. So let's go ahead again and copy it. There we go. And as you can see, this is now correct. Now here, this is actually when we get to set the content of the NFC. So let's go ahead and copy NFC content. Oops. Okay, I have no idea what just happened. Scroll down and stop this with it like that. Now the reason why some of this stuff is already created, that's because I already created this project and now I'm working on it. So that's why I am sort of copying it and that's why I have it. Now what we need to do is finally create that uh, uh, this uh, function that we're calling over here so it's the right function this, this is the one that actually ends up writing to the tag and again I will just copy it and paste it for you now we are left with the create record so let's go ahead and do that just like this wonderful now although it seems like we are done we actually have very few functions we have four left that we need to create or five so let's go ahead and do it. The first one is going to be on new intent. So when we detect a new tag, what do we have? What do we do? And this takes care of that. Um, after that is on pause and on resume. And this switches our right mode. Uh, this calls a function, uh, the function, two functions that we're about to create, and they switch on or off the right mode that we initialized above. So let's go ahead and copy these two as well just like that now everything should be done now we it seems like we have an issue here we might have created this wrong so let's go up and see how we did it writing tag filters instead of write tag filters there we go oh, okay so we seems like we just needed to add two brackets like this and now we have no issues okay wonderful let's keep scrolling and see what else we have writing tag filters so again this should have been this one Wonderful. So now our app is actually complete and what we can do now is we can run this application and see if it will work as expected or not. So let me actually do that right now. What I'll do is I'll click on run. Okay, so I have my NFC tag over here and if I bring it close to the phone, nothing happens, but let's go ahead and type something such as nice 
and I'll bring the NFC close and I'll type in activate tag as you can see it says text written successfully now if I go ahead and bring it again you can see that the NFC content updates to plain text and then nice let's add anything else like gibberish and bring it and then click on okay it's hard to do this with one finger oh there we go as you can see it updated to the new content that we added to the nfc tag if you like this episode please make sure you leave a like you leave a subscribe it did uh it was a little bit complicated so i do apologize for that but i'm planning on making a lot of more android episodes from now on thanks so much for watching and have a good day